good morning to everyone so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the next topology called uh, ring topology all right so ring topology as we all know that uh, uh, a system uh, will uh, will will have uh, an, a connection to the next system before and after right so uh, a system so the topology will be like so like a ring right every system will have two connections to the neighboring systems right before and after right so that is what uh, the ring topology is so let's simulate uh, with a good example so here uh, i have one system let's create a, a virtual ring right but actually in terms of theoretical we have seen that uh, connection between all these uh, will form as a ring whereas uh, without the networking devices in reality without the networking devices it cannot be possible so we need to have a uh, switch for uh, forming the ring yes uh, this is what uh, this uh, ring will be formed by the switch right and uh, let's uh, perform this connection sorry so networking devices uh, between the two networking devices uh, uh, it takes a crossover connection copper crossover connection but between the end devices and the networking device it takes a uh, uh, copper straight through wire and uh, here uh, uh, So now this uh, device is having uh, yes uh, now uh, this is the uh, connection so now this uh, this forms a ring right so this which is uh, the each each which is connected having the connection to npc and uh, now switches forms a ring so now uh, you need to define the ip address for this uh, n systems so 192.1 Uh, 16.0.1 let's copy this to three and four right so this is what the IP I need to configure this IP uh, to the uh, system Yes, uh, subnet mask automatically taken. One is already assigned. the four systems are configured properly so now this is a ring right let's go for uh, checking of this uh, working uh, let's go for working of this uh, before that i'll select only the icmp packet icmp protocol choose so now i want to communicate from uh, uh, 172.16.0.3 to 172.16.0.4 right now our packet is ready to transmit so it reaches switch number 3 so now uh, because bo it's, a, it's a full duplex connection so communication will take place uh, in both the directions so it reaches switch 0 and finally reaches the destination and it generates acknowledgement for it and switch 0 will forward it to switch number 3 and uh, here uh, this is uh, finally it reaches the destination right which is the source right so let's go for one more uh, example so now i need to communicate from pc number 3 to pc number 1 so packet is uh, ready to transmit it reaches switch 3 switch 2 switch 1 and uh, pc will forward pc receives that and it generates acknowledgement follows the same path 
and finally it reaches the source so this is what uh, so now uh, let's check for the characteristics of uh, ring topology so as per the characteristics of ring topology what may be the biggest disadvantage of ring topology is uh, here if any of the link goes down then you cannot able to uh, communicate here each uh, link is a full duplex connection where uh, communication can be performed in both directions right let's assume uh, one link goes down so now one link goes down so now i'll try to uh, communicate uh, between the same pcs which is pc3 to pc1 right let's uh, before that delete the previous simulation so i'm trying to communicate from pc3 to in earlier uh, it, uh, packet will transfer from uh, pc to switch 3 switch 3 to switch 2 switch 2 to switch 1 and finally it reaches the destination whereas uh, here uh, let's see how it communicates we have dropped let's assume that link between the switch 3 and switch 2 has been dropped right because of uh, has gone down because of any reason so let's go for uh, checking of this so packet is forwarded to uh, switch 3 now it takes different path because there is uh, no sorry sorry let's uh, redo the simulation because the working mechanism is different so because it is uh, doing the process of hub so let's do this uh, process again it is ready to transmit it takes from uh, pc to switch 3 from switch 3 to switch 0 from switch 0 to switch 1 and uh, switch 1 to pc and uh, acknowledgement will be generated and it reaches switch 1 switch 1 to switch 0 switch 0 to switch 3 and switch 3 to uh, here so here it is a dual ring connection dual ring in the sense uh, as we all know that uh, dual ring is capable of uh, performing communications in both directions so here each link is capable of performing at both direction so here if any of the link goes down then uh, that communication between those two networking devices if it is of simplex com communication then communication cannot be performed if it, because uh, in terms of single simplex communication one way communication here is a sin here it is of uh, full duplex connection then uh, it, it may take another path also so that's why uh, even though the connection between switch 2 and switch 3 has been dropped so it takes this three uh, this path for communicating with the destination right so this is what uh, a ring topology is so we'll see another topic in the next video thank you